Hey everybody. I felt it kind of necessary considering what's happened the past couple weeks. Um, I'll share that with you in a second to, to give you a word of encouragement. So it's, I've been a math guy my whole life. And so I, I, I kind of came to the realization the last few weeks that it's not easy. It's not easy being a math person. It's not easy to enjoy math uh, in, in kind of the world right now. It's, it's not very, at least in American culture, it's not very cool to be a, a math person. And so what had happened, um, I made this shirt up because it, I, I wanted this channel to be something that I believe in. And my belief is that I believe in you. I believe that you can actually do this stuff. And so I, I created this shirt and I sent it to one of my friends and the immediate thing that happened was he made fun of it. I was like, man, I thought we were friends. And, and at first it, it was like, oh, it's kind of funny that you made fun of it and all that. but. The more I got to think about it, the more it really started to bother me because I've been fighting this my whole life. The fact that when I say, oh, I like math, you go, dork. I mean, and I, I own it. I am a dork. I get it. Um, but isn't it discouraging, you know, sometimes that, that this, this wonderful thing that we love is kind of hated on by a lot of people who are either ignorant to it, don't see the value in it, or frankly, don't care about it. Uh, and, and it's really sad. And so I wanted to just encourage you that if you love this stuff, don't let people take that away from you. This math is, it's incredible. Um, you kind of figured that this is one of the most beautiful forms of art that we have. And with every brush stroke of numbers, we paint a picture of the world around us that is nearly indescribable in such a detail that you can't deny the beauty. That, that's what we do. And, and that's what math is. And so the, the love of that, don't let people take that away just because they don't understand it. Um, just because they think it's not worth their time. You, you're on to something that is beautiful in the study of math. And the more that you get into it, uh, the more that you understand it, the prettier that it really is. So I want to encourage you to stick with it, um, that, that you can do it. I really do believe in you. This shirt isn't a bunch of bunch of junk. I really believe in you, uh, that, that you are learning from it. It takes a lot of, a lot of time and effort to search out math. All right. <laughs> well, sometimes you want to be doing other things. I get it, but you're taking the effort to come here and, and, and watch these, these videos. So I really do believe that that is important. And that's what this channel is for. Um, I, d obviously I, I do care to present this to you in a way that you understand it. And I care about you that you get it. So for those people who just are hating on math and, and saying, you're crazy for doing whatever, don't listen to that. Uh, the, the study of this stuff is absolutely wonderful. The second thing that I've noticed, so the second thing that bothers me, bothered me for a long time, is that for some reason, and I, I think it has to do with the fact that we, we as math people can be a little dorky and do sort of get picked on a lot. I know I was in high school, um, that when we actually get to a place of, I would say, achievement as professors, some of us tend to completely condescend to students. And that is absolutely unacceptable. So I know that a lot of you have teachers out there who, because maybe they were talked down to their whole life when they finally get in front of the classroom, they have to make people feel stupid. Um, you're not stupid. And the fact that they make you feel that way is absolutely wrong. So don't ever, ever think that, it, that they are above you. Are they, do they know more about math? Of course, at this point in time they do because they're teaching you. That doesn't mean that they're better than you. And there's no excuse for them to make you feel that way. Um, so as a way of encouragement, I just want to, I want to tell you that you, you really have the ability, if you are sitting in that classroom, if you've met the prerequisites, if you're watching the videos and you understand it, don't let them take that away from you. Um, that, that sort of condescending arrogance is just a killer of all sorts of learning. And we shouldn't have that, um, in, in my opinion, in philosophy of education, that really a classroom is, is a time for everyone to, to learn. And there, yeah, there are stupid questions, but not about math. And not if you're really seeking the right answer. Um, so don't be afraid to ask questions. If I'm not getting to your questions on 
on YouTube. You got to keep in mind, I do have over a thousand videos and I, I can't respond to all those comments, but I'm hoping that we can create in this channel something where, where people will answer and something that we can have dialogues and discussions about math concepts and how it is wonderful and beautiful. And so far the comments have been like that. So keep that up. Um, I, again, when you're sitting in a classroom and your teacher says something just that makes you, that makes you feel stupid. I've been there too. I've had a lot of teachers who, because they want to show how smart they were, just blew through lessons and said, do you get it? Like, no, too bad. Guess you're not a cutout for it. <laughs> okay, that is not at all what these people are getting paid to do. Um, so continue to ask your questions. Uh, continue to ask them of your teachers. When they won't give you a good answer, ask again. Get, get tutors who are actually worth your time. Um, and, and, and just keep your head up. So don't let anybody who is in the realm of academia ever condescend to you that you are not worth their time. You absolutely are. So hopefully I will make videos that support that. Uh, that's what this is for anyway, is for you guys to learn, uh, not to feel stupid. So just thought I would mention those two little instances because I felt it necessary. I really do believe in you. I know you're doing a great job. Keep up the good work, guys.